Well, uh, the NBA is considering shortening its season. Whereas the NFL. By how many? By how many is games? actually. Uh, 60? 30 30? Should be 30 30. That'd be about right. 30 on the road, 30 at home, not 41 and 41. 41 41 sounded like a stupid number to begin with. I guess they're. Well, basically, they're saying 82 games. Uh, well, they're saying 82 games is too much. 58 games is not enough. So there's a discussion. Is perfect. There's a discussion about it. There's a discussion about it. <laughs> so 60 is perfect. Right around there. Well, but the NFL is actually talking about extending its season, and the NFL is a much more brutal game than basketball. You want to go back so to when that? You look you want, at, you when want, you look you at want, that. You want to go back to that slave conversation, slave system conversation again? Because the inmates will never run this, this, the asylum or the plantation. And we have the greatest factory. We have 119 D1 schools that, that dump them to us every year. And there's no other league on God's green earth. Unless you want to call it the USFL over there in Birmingham, Alabama. That ain't number semi-pro on a Sunday, Saturday afternoon. I can get 10 guys that play five on five look better than that sometimes. I mean, you kidding me? <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. There's only one, there's only one game in town, and they got a monopoly on it. They took Sunday from Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Who wakes up on a Sunday say, I'm going to Sunday school church and the afternoon service? Nobody. Well, I mean, when you look at the CTE situation, though, I mean, you yourself have talked about it. All right. I mean, I mean, since our last interview, do you feel like any of your symptoms have gotten worse or it's about the same or have gotten better? Oh, some days I I forget why I even walked in the room. But then I'll sit there, calm it down, walk back out, come back in. It's it's just a daily process, lad. I mean, that's just what it is. Whenever you're talking about an illness of hitting your head and it affecting you as you get older, as you get older, your brain's naturally gonna deteriorate. No one, no one, no one got smarter getting older, right? Right. Yeah, you're not getting stronger. This is a marathon we run. You don't get stronger at the end of the marathon. But what I've done is put little little pieces and little blockers in, you know, writing notes down, doing different things like that, set my calendar up. Because I never needed a calendar before. I can remember it off the top of my head. Bang, 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 boom, boom, boom. But the thing that we have now, but maybe not, because the new guy with the concussion board with the NFL lied and forged paperwork and everything. So it's the same system. It's like big tobacco. Mm, right. They're never going to admit it. They're never going to admit it until, yeah. you know, maybe in the 650 emails, it might be in there. <laughs> They're never going to admit it. That, that's the one thing they won't say is that playing football and CTE are directly, look, come on, it's too, it's, too, it's too obvious that it is. I got one for you. I got one for you. The helmet, I, I grabbed my helmet off my mama's shelf the other day and I looked at it and I laughed. They almost got a fucking quilt inside these boys' helmet now. I mean, a quilt with concussion and this in the book. To put it on, this damn thing is heavy. I went, shit, I didn't need to do that net workout. <laughs> I can't carry this thing around. They actually have a weapon up there now or something that might protect you because we used to always call it our weapon. This is my weapon, dog. My shield, you know what I'm saying? My shield and my weapon. I, I, and, I, and I'm going to die on it. Or, or bring me, I'm going to bring coming back with it or you lay me on it and get me out of here. That's the way we played the game. Well, for example, look at Aaron Hernandez, who got convicted of murder, ended up committing suicide in a cell. And when they actually did the autopsy, they said that he had the worst CTE of Level anyone four. of his age Level that four. they've ever seen, but period. if you watch how he played the game, boom, boom, mm. with his head. Mike Webster, boom, boom, with his head. Whenever Dave Durson, Andre Waters, all the guys, Junior Seau, all the guys that you, you you watch them how they play the game and they played a very, very physical game with their horns first. Absolutely. But we didn't know. That's the thing now. We must educate them. Like a guy hit me the other day and asked me, do I sponsor kids under 14 to play football? I said, no. I said, we can bring them over here to the cycling. We can go break the cycle. We can go swimming. We can go basketball, baseball, tennis, you know, shit, bocce ball. You know, anything, a chess club, anything but that football field because that dentist or that doctor or the lawyer from around the corner that doesn't sponsor the team and got somebody to donate the damn uniforms, they don't give a damn about your kid five years from now. 
He gonna be holding up that same shitty trophy. Look what we won. I I coached him to the championship. When I see Jim Brown in Ohio in the summer, we don't sit and talk about Pop Warner championships. <laughs> we just don't. No one talks about Pop Warner at the Hall of Fame. That ain't what we. That that's not what got us there. I mean, would you let your kids play? My kid did play, but he was 14 before I let him. Okay, so at 14, he started to play. Yeah. You only need four years in high school. I only needed two. If you can play this game, it's never going to change. 11 on 11. <laughs> it's never going to change. This is Edson Stone. It's been played 100 years. This is it. This is the game we get. 